we were born in towns like that stage sort of dad was dad rode and then uh, then later become a trainer uh, he then you know he, he come down to Brisbane after that yeah every now and again I give dad a call but I've sort of you know I've been doing this 25 odd years now but they say you never stop learning in this caper so we'll keep, you know there's always it's always good to ask someone a few questions I left town for when I was 16 so yeah we got a lot of fond memories there running around the streets and riding your ponies etc so uh, no no we got fond memories of the north so to, you know to win these races up there it, it, yeah, it means a lot I was at a racing function at the Pineapple Hotel in Brisbane and uh, uh, a good mate of mine there, Mike Hayes, has had, had horses with Lindsay and uh, he just happened to introduce him to me and uh, um, the friendship blossomed from there and uh, we, next reason we had a couple of horses there and, and then from then on I've raced quite a few horses and we've had a lot of, lot of success over just about 20 from about 20 years back here. Yeah. Mr Mumford, uh, the uh, senior owner in uh, Margoni, he, he took a horse to Cairns Amateurs, oh, I'd say some 10 years ago, and, and he started an association with Fred then. So we've been going, we've, this is the third year in a row we've been up there, and uh, and and so uh, we've just, yeah, we've started a relationship with Fred, and he's looked after us a treat. But it's still in front of Margoni. Margoni's going to beat Magic Conqueror. Uh, it certainly wasn't a surprise, but it was, was, was a great thrill. I've, I've had Group 1s, Group 2s, Group 3 winners, and, uh, but it's always a thrill to win a Country Cup, and uh, particularly here in Cairns. We're thrilled to have won that race, and uh, yeah, no, look, he, he got the Mackay, probably, he probably needed Mackay, pulled up, he's probably got to the 2,000 a fraction quick, so getting to uh, the Cairns with one, run, one 2,000 under his belt. He, he come out of the Cairns Cup much better. He actually pulled up a treat, recovered well. So, uh, yeah, we feel he's thrived. You know, I think Mahagani, we may have unearthed something here. Um, I think there's better things in store from him, uh, for, for him rather than the Cairns Cup. And uh, the, the, uh, the Toowoomba Cup is two weeks after this Saturday. And uh, we're going to look at going to the Toowoomba Cup also. Exceptional is rattling home on the outside. 50 to go. Constant flight. Grabbed by He's Exceptional. Spine image coming. They hit the line. Fano. Not sure here. Constant flight. Or he... Constant flight. He, um, he ran well in the Rocky Newmark. It was a good, tough run. He wasn't beaten all that far. Then he went to Townsville. He was, he was caught off the track. We're, we're very pleased with his run. He, he raced well in, in, in Cairns last start. So. Uh, you know, he, he won the Cairns Amateurs Newmarket last year, so we're, we're hoping Lightning will strike twice. And he's in good fettle and he's racing well. He's a ha ha healthy, happy old horse. So, yeah, yeah, we'd like to, if we can do, run him in the Magic Millions Country Cup, and then that would probably be the finish for him. If, but, but like I said, we'll be run at a time with him. Yeah, I think the Amateurs is very special. It's, it's really, really special, the Amateurs. And uh, a lot of Southern people come up from, you know, Sydney, Melbourne, and all over Australia uh, with the ball on uh, on Friday night and the racing Friday Saturday I think I think it's uh, you know right up there yeah the amateurs